Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Kuma's Kitchen. And tonight, no cooking whatsoever. Everything's cold. The stove isn't being touched. We don't want any heat in here. It's been hot. And uh, it was really, really high humidity the other day. I was doing a tour up in Kyoto. We were absolutely melting in the morning. Uh, just drip, drip, drip. I mean, it was so humid. You could basically drink the air. It was horrible. So, we don't want to do any cooking. Well, this here, I call this barbecue pork summer tacos. Yeah, definitely summer tacos because there's no cooking involved. Um, you've seen me use barbecued pork before in other recipes. I get it from a little store over here in Kintetsu and Tenoji. Um, fantastic stuff. This time I got, I got a mixture of just the, the, the off cuts and then we're going to shred it in the kitchen. So what you've got, you've got your tortillas and everybody just makes their own. I mean, that's the fun part of taco night is that you get to make your own and just put it all together. Now I've only got um, four different ingredients. This one here is going really simple because you can add whatever you want. Like one of the things I'd recommend adding, some jalapenos, you know, pickled jalapenos, chop them up, put a bowl of that out. Um, any, all kinds of different things you can have out there. Shredded lettuce is always nice in these, all kinds of things of like that. So I'm leaving it up to you as to what you want to add. How about after you watch the video, um, down in the comments, let me know what you're going to use in yours. Now, mm, I got some bite. Mm, mm hmm. Because uh, cold is refreshing too. This is the perfect summer taco. All right, let's go to the kitchen and make this right now. All right, so this is all no cook. Look at this. What we've got here up front. Um, well, gonna make a special sauce. Gonna put inside here. Or put it inside, I guess everybody will put it in their own uh, tacos. But this sauce I make up is made up with, uh, with back here, we've got three quarters of a cup of sour cream. Then we throw in a quarter cup of mayonnaise, then a half a cup of salsa, and one tablespoon of paprika. That's just kind of give a little smoky flavor. Then, well, this is all going to be just out there for everybody to. Put together their own taco. So you got one tomato, large tomato, chopped up into small pieces. I've got six ounces or 170 grams of cheddar cheese grated. Of course, you're gonna have cheese, you know that. And then across the back here is the barbecued pork. So I've got uh, one pound or 450 grams. And what I asked for is the off cuts. So I've got all different types in here, which is great because look, we've got a real, uh, I got a real variety of ones. So what I'm gonna do. Oh, and of course, across here I've got uh, tortillas. Now I've got 10 of them there. I'm not going to use all that. Probably going to be about eight. Just going to put them out for everybody to make their own. It really depends how much people fill in. So yeah, eight to 10 of these little smaller tortillas. If you got the 10 inch, you probably go a little bit less. I'm going to just put those off to one side right now. Um, cheese over here, because what I'm going to do with the meat, I, just, I need to pull it apart a bit. And some of it's in big chunks. So let's just put it out here on this uh, cutting board. And then I'm just going to use a couple of forks and just kind of pull it apart. That doesn't have to be perfect. Look at that. It's like, that's good enough right there. So toss that in. A uh, piece like this. Yeah, that's going to be the, that's the harder one. This is the one I use a lot. This kind of uh, barbecued pork right here. That's going to take a little bit more to shred, but you know. A little bit of olive oil grease and away you go. You got a whole part. Look at that. Pieces like that. That's perfect. That's good enough. So just keep doing that until we've shredded that pile. All right, and there that's it. That's the last piece. All right, so now we've got a bowl of shredded or pulled barbecue pork. That's looking good. Put it off to one side for right now. Oh, a couple little pieces here. All right, all right. Next thing I want to do, let's put that there for right now. Get a bowl in here. You mix up that uh, sauce. So, put the sour cream 
It's going to move into a bigger bowl. And I'm going to squish that down a bit, make a bit of a well on it, because I'm going to add in the mayonnaise. Some mayonnaise in there. Um, what I'm going to do now is just before I add anything else in, mix that mayonnaise into the sour cream, kind of soften up that sour cream a bit. And just soften it, liquefy it. Just kind of pushing down a bit to smoosh it together. All right, that'll do. In goes the salsa. and the paprika and then just mix that around uh, that's looking good now we'll put it in a nicer bowl because we're going to serve this up Clean this up a bit here. We're gonna serve this up so you want everything uh, nicely presented. tortillas, some sauce, the meat, tomatoes, and uh, cheese, and everybody just helps themselves. That's the fun of tacos. Now, let's put one together. All right, so all you do, grab one of these. Yeah, you might want to put a set of chopsticks or something or tongs or whatever, um, but this is just me and Ray are eating this, so finger, fingers are fine. Well, actually, she won't let me use fingers at home because she says I get, I drop stuff everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm under, I kept it under control there. I'm the messy one in our family. Well, I put a little bit of meat on there. Uh, pour a bit of that sauce on there. Oh, that's looking good. All right. Oh, the tomatoes. <laughs> Should grab a spoon with the tomatoes. Okay, I'll just grab a fork here. Throw some tomatoes on there. Get in there. All right, a little piece trying to jump over the board there. Let's put one more piece in the center here somewhere. There we go. A little cheese on there. And that's it. Whoa. Wrap it and Mm. Eat it. That's a lot of fun. And guess what? No heat. No cooking. Perfect. <laughs> All right. If you like this recipe, especially this time of year, it should be good at any time of year. Well, stick around. Check out the rest of the channel. Lots of uh, original Kevin Riley recipes here on Kuma's Kitchen. Make sure you click that notification bell and that uh, subscription button. Make sure you don't miss out on any new ones coming up because there's going to be more coming up all the time. All right, now, go make these, make a summer night fun, and make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen.